I can explain. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Anthony. And if you are not new, you know I could do better than this. So today we are going to be Catwoman. And no, it's not just going to be like this. I could do better than this. What I have in my head is more than this. I can't even begin to describe it. So we're just going to jump right into it. Starting with foundation, apply this to the center of the face and blend out. Then set with powder. Fill in the brows as you would with a black eyeshadow. I prefer using eyeshadow to pomade because it gives a softer look. With a light cream color, highlight the brow bone and fill the lid with a nude eyeshadow. Using a fluffy brush and a dark brown eyeshadow, put this in the outer third of the eye and blend it into the crease. Now with a pencil brush and the same dark brown eyeshadow, place this in the outer third of the lower lash line. Back to the fluffy brush, but now with a dark gray color, add this to the outer third of the lid and blend to the center. With your ring finger, pat on a silver eyeshadow in the inner corner to the center of the lid. Using a black pencil liner, place this in the waterline and tight line. Now curl the lashes. With a flat brush and a white silver highlighter, highlight the inner corner of the eye. And again, with a pencil brush and a dark gray eyeshadow, add this to the outer third of the lower lash line and blend. Using a black liquid liner, draw a cat eye. Highlight the cheeks, the tip of the nose, and the cupid's bow. And for contour, contour below the cheekbone and the jawline. For the lips, using a lip brush, fill them in with a burgundy color. I will link the full transformation video in the upper right corner and the description box below. Please check it out, I really worked hard on it. So this is the glam makeup and I'm going to move to the body painting portion of this. I have done Catwoman before in like 2017 or 2016, I don't remember but I'll put a picture here. And it was just plain black body paint with white stitches over it. I didn't really think it's through and I was just rushing to get a piece out on that day. But I'm very proud of it. And I think I have improved after four or three years of doing this. So I want to revisit it and see what I could do to make it better or cooler or whatever. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and wish me luck. Time for the body paint. Using a black or white pencil liner, outline where the patches of fabric are going to lay. Paint all of these areas black, but make sure to leave a gap in between. Please forgive the patchiness, I was in a hurry to finish up this makeup and edit it for the contest. Now for the eyes, I added a sharper outer corner using a pencil brush and the same dark gray eyeshadow from earlier. Blend this in the lower lash line as well and up into the inner corner of the eye. Now to touch up any eyeliner that was covered by the eyeshadow. Also add a point in the inner corner 
for a more cat eye effect. Now back to the body paint. With the end of a smaller brush or a q-tip, dip this into a skin tone colored body paint or foundation. Start dotting this at the edge of the black patches that are across another black patch. This will serve as the holes the stitches will go through. Now with a silver body paint and a thin brush, connect the holes with stitches. These can be straight or crisscrossed, just have fun with it. You can even have some stitches dangling onto the face or body. With the same small brush and white body paint, brush on some lines where light would touch and blend with your finger before the paint dries. This will make the patches look more like leather. Once you're happy with the highlights, line the edges facing up with white body paint to make the suit look shinier. Add your cat ears and you're done! And this is the final look. I'm still hopped up a bit on adrenaline because the submission time was 11 p.m. and I submitted at 10.45 or 10.40 or whatever. So I'm a little bit hyper and I'm losing my mind. But I'm really, really, really happy with how this turned out. Words can't describe. It's always like that for most of the time like that, that I surprise myself and hopefully surprise you guys with what I come up with. I'll post the video, but I did pretty soon. I think I'm most likely gonna post it, it ahead of this one, so we shall just see. I hope you guys like this. It's the same, well, kind of the same as Michelle Pfeiffer's, well, based on Michelle Pfeiffer's. And I just decided to put gaps between the actual fabric because I thought, you know, I wanted to put a bit more of a spin on it. I want to also give a shout out to my friend Nyx. Um, I'll leave his info in the description box below. He's an amazing artist and he helped me brainstorm this whole look and do Thank you so much, cause I swear, this, I can't, I'm, I can't. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and like this video if you're enjoying Skintober, follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet, at artwithme14, stay safe, and much love, I'll see you in the next one, bye! So